Alrighty guys, we're wrapping up another week here. I started last month going through the baby steps and looking at the fly lady system, but with a biblically based and minimalist minded approach. I have my control journal right here. I work through my routines every morning, afternoon, and evening, spending, oh, maybe 15 minutes on each, but getting everything taken care of. I have been enjoying it so much. And so if you guys missed any of those baby steps, be sure to go back at the beginning of these. They are all on a playlist. Catch up on those work through those baby steps and get everything nice and neat and put together. This week we looked at the weekly home blessing hour. So hopefully you already did that this week. Be sure you keep that on your calendar. That's going to be a weekly thing we implement. You guys, it is so nice to just take one hour, get it all done, and then you can enjoy a nice tidy home the rest of the week because our morning, afternoon, and evening steps are helping us to maintain that as the week goes on. And then yesterday I, or well, the video after that, I asked you guys to go ahead and start having a conversation with your kids about just minimalism, the stuff that we have, the things we're holding on to, the excess we may have. How do you feel about your stuff? Is it frustrating to try to keep up with it? Would you like if you didn't have to do this? Maybe your kids love all of this stuff and they think there's nothing wrong. That's okay. We'll work through all of that. Um, but today I want to talk about the five minute room rescue. So back on, I don't exactly remember off the top of my head what day it was, but I shared with you guys the five minute room rescue when we were working through the baby steps for us. And it's a cool little handy dandy trick guys. When you're busy, you're overwhelmed, you got a bunch of stuff going on. This is what you pull out. And what you do is you get your cool little timer, you turn it on for five minutes and you go into the room, whatever space it may be. It may be your bedroom. It may be the kitchen, the living room outside, whatever it is. And you just set the timer for five minutes, you click start, and you get as much done as you can in that five minute time. The um, timer keeps you accountable to not get sidetracked and start on other projects. Hello, I am so guilty of that. But also knowing that we are going to get our zone set up and be doing all of the deep cleaning stuff, kind of like with the weekly home blessing hour, I feel like it gives me that ability to not get sidetracked and start scrubbing the baseboards and then touching up paint and then cleaning the windows and then organizing a closet and kind of jumping all over the place because I go, hey, that stuff's going to get to, it's cool. Let me just focus. The five minute room rescue is, hey, if company were getting ready to walk in here in 10 minutes, what would you get done? That gives you five minutes to get it done and five minutes to sit back and relax until they get here, right? What would you walk in and do real quick? And so that's what we want to implement. The kids are going to have zones and things that they're doing along with us to really deep clean their rooms and minimize the stuff down. But every evening, that's when I have my kiddos do it, is I tell them to set their timers and do a five minute room rescue. So after we've had dinner, when we're getting ready for bed, we're getting ready to kind of wind down our day. Um, I shared last week a, a little homeschool summer staycation video of just our favorite things to do during our summer break. And one of those is to stay up late and work through a TV show or have something fun that we're curling up and watching together after a long fun day of playing in the pool and eating s'mores and fun things like that. Um, but we do that every evening. So first we have our evening routine. We get all of that done and then everything's nice and neat and taken care of so we can sit down and relax and have a fun night together. But part of their evening routine is that five minute room rescue. I do my two minute hot spot. I'm doing my stuff, putting it together, but they go and set their timers and I say, hey, if company were getting ready to come over, right? What would you get picked up and put away real quick? So if mom, if usually when company comes over, it's me going around the house going, ah, company's coming over. We have to get our house in order. So I say, Hey, if somebody was getting ready to come over and they were going to sleep in your room, right? We have your, if your friend was coming over or family or whatever, and they're going to sleep in your room. What would you do to get your room nice and tidy before they showed up? So you would put your toys away. You would make sure your bed straightened up. You'd get any trash thrown away. You'd make sure the clothes are all picked up, whatever it is. And I tell them, Hey, your room, we don't want it to become a disaster because then it's really, really hard and it takes a lot of work to get nice and clean and put back together. So five minutes, straighten up, get everything put away. And then as soon as that timer dings, you're done. You're out of there. Um, for our two bigger girls, they share a bedroom. So for them, if they're both in there working it together, they can be done in half the time, which is fantastic. I'm all for that. So it's so nice because it takes a lot of stress off of me throughout the day. I'm not worried about things staying perfect. They live there. They're having fun. They're playing. Life happens. That's cool. But knowing that every evening is part of their evening routine, they're going to take five minutes to get it all picked up. 
I don't worry about it during the day. I know it's going to get taken care of. They're not having that stress put on them to do it because they know it's part of their routine and they're going to get it taken care of. And it really does make it fun to have that, that timer and just that little extra thing. Any fun thing that you can do to help encourage them, really get them into it, make a game out of it, really makes the work so much easier. Again, I'm doing my evening routine at the same time they're doing theirs. We're all working on that stuff together. So while I'm doing my little steps, they're doing their steps. We know we got to get it all done so that way we can go have fun family curl up time on the couch and watch our show it's super exciting it all works together so definitely want to encourage you guys to start implementing a five minute room rescue with your kiddos obviously my teenager does not get quite as excited about the game aspect of it as his little sisters do but even still for him i go hey buddy get this done and then I'm off your back because your room's nice and clean and tidy. I told the kids that I'm checking their folders each evening. So in their folders, each evening I go through and I look at their different tabs here to make sure everything is checked off. Morning routine, evening routine, which obviously we haven't done yet, and then their Bible reading for the week. Then I made a very simple, I put it right next to my evening routine. So here's my before bed routine and on the back page of that I just gave me little boxes with each day of the week so I can check off hey did everybody get their stuff done every day if all of those are checked off at the end of the week we're getting a prize it could be whatever will entice your children is what it can be getting an ice cream treat getting to pick out a movie rental, having game time on the weekends, whatever the case may be. You want your phone? Get your stuff done this week. You want to be able to play video games? Get your stuff done this week. You want to have ice cream for dinner on Saturday? Get your stuff done this week. Whatever it is. You guys do family movie night, family game night, whatever it might be. But give them some rewards. Give them some things to look forward to for adding these things in, right? Work, reward, let's do this. We don't pay our kids allowance, but you could if you wanted to say, hey, for every thing on your morning, afternoon, and evening routine that you get checked off, that's worth, you know, $1 or whatever, and then add it up, and at the end of the week, give them that cash. Um, whatever works best for your, you and your family, talk with your husband and figure it out. You know, talk with your kids. We want them to be excited and looking forward to this. But a five minute room rescue at the end of the day really is something I think that we all <laughs> could use um, and kind of implement in. So our kiddos do that and um, it really has made a difference. And I, I really do, again, not only am I relieved about it going through the day, because I'm like, hey, it's cool, they'll get it taken care of tonight. I'm not stressing it and I don't have to fight them over it because it's part of their routine. I say, hey, how are your folders? And they go run in there and they just get it done. Younger kids love having the timer. If there's a timer, and even for our son, because I go, dude, do it for five minutes. When the timer goes off, you can quit. But for five minutes, you have to be working. And the first couple days, you might be kind of ho-humming. But then the more we do it and the more we do it, and I stay consistent with making sure that we're doing this, he's now kind of chugging along and really picking up some speed and getting it done. So it all works out. But I think it definitely also is kind of a, a relief for them because they're not having to stress or worry about it. As stuff goes on and whatever, they go, hey, I got five minutes. I can do anything in five minutes, right? And then it's over. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so it really has been a great, great benefit for us. So that's the next thing I want to make sure. I don't know if you guys in your kids' um, control journals that we made last week, if you want to, you can add it into their evening routine or whatever works best. Maybe you want to do it in morning or afternoon, but make sure you add in a five minute room rescue with your kids. And that way you guys can start doing that every single day. And then I will show you guys a I don't know if we'll do a time lapse or some kind of overview or something. I will show you guys a five minute, um, a five minute room rescue with probably my girls tonight. They will probably be the most exciting, hopefully, to watch. So we'll see what they get done. But otherwise, I hope this blesses you and your family as you guys work through this. Um, enjoy your week, kind of working through the weekly home blessing hour, minimizing with your kids, and then adding in this room rescue. And then next week, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into our Bible time with our kids and also the zone work. We're finally getting into the zones, you guys. I promise it's just you got to do the baby steps and start building on these habits each and every day and then we can start hitting the heavy stuff. So that is coming next, but I really do pray that this blesses you guys um, as you move through this. If there's anything at all we can do, just reach out and let us know. Otherwise, I'm going to show you the girls doing their five-minute room rescue and then we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys!
All right, guys. I don't even know how it happens, but somehow every day their room becomes this crazy explosion of stuff. Just so much stuff. So we're going to start implementing some more decluttering in their room here until our air conditioner gets fixed. <laughs> We've got this fun mess going on over here. So we're going to work on decluttering, but right now we are just talking, hold on, don't start yet. We're talking about our room rescue. So girls, what do you do with your room rescue? We set our timer to five minutes and clean up as quick as we can. Yep, you just clean up. Like if you're if you had company that was getting ready to come over and stay in here, or mom was getting ready to come in, what would you do real quick to get it nice and neat in five minutes, right? Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Do you do good? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. You like doing this, huh? Gigi, do you like doing this? Yes. It's only five minutes. With both of you working together, you get it done super quick, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna. You got your timer, Lily. Show me your timer. All right. So Lily B has her timer over here set for five minutes and one second. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and then you can click start and we'll see what you guys get done, okay? Ladies, your timer went off. Let's see the difference five minutes makes. Ooh, we have made beds. Lily has not been sleeping on her top bunk because she likes sleeping on this bed that was kind of under there. It's like a trundle bed for when company came over. But now Lily likes sleeping down here closer to Virginia. So she just kind of throws her, well, and her boots. But she just kind of throws her stuffed animals up here that they're playing with. Um, so they just hang out up there with Lucy. And see, like all of this, this needs to get, we need to go through this and kind of minimize and scale down. But these are her projects and her books and all her things she's working on. So she's got them in neat piles. So they're there and put together. And then Gigi has her bed made with her little toys lined up there on it. And this is a much better improvement. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if there's some things that are still, this is the nasty old couch we have that the dog loves laying on. Um, and hopefully when things get back to normal, because the whole Rona thing, we haven't been able to get the flooring that we were getting ready. Before all this happened, we had redone all of their room and we were supposed to go pick up the flooring and then the world went crazy. So we haven't been able to fix their flooring yet. Yep. There you go, Zoe. Look, everything's nice and clean now. So, five minutes every evening they do this and everything gets picked up, straightened up, and looking much better. Hey, girls, give me a high five. You did an awesome job. Ow, that was a good high five. Good job. Good job. Zoe, good job. Five minutes. It's all done. No fighting, no arguing. Everything's done and taken care of. They get a check for the day, and this weekend we will get a special treat when we get everything done every day. Good job, ladies.